making it known that they were rooting for kids. Message to Brian. Hi, I would like to book blank for a night I'm putting on at Blank in London. Unfortunately, due to cost of venue hire, etc., there's no money in it, but I can provide some drinks and food. Are they available? Brian, what do you do for a living? I'm a painter and decorator. Why? Can you come and do my hall stairs and landing? There's no money in it, but I can make you some custom
clothes. That's a hint, honey. They'll help you with what you need to find. I'm reporting you. Oh!
just had to bleep that little clip that we played for you there. But even President Obama has confirmed just how rude Kanye West is. During a 2009 press interview at the White House, Obama didn't realize that his mic was still on. The interviewer was asking the president how he felt about what Kanye did to Taylor Swift, although he didn't really seem shocked that West could be so rude. Not only did Kanye's famous MTV interruption get more negative press than when he said George Bush hated black people, but he doubled down on his rude behavior. When Trump became president, Kanye continued to treat others horribly. He told her to mega hat while also saying that slavery was a choice. On top of his political controversies, the rapper from Chicago has also repeatedly dragged Taylor Swift's name through the mud, even having his wife join in on the gross behavior. Two carrots in a pot. What's the saying? What's the meme to uh, a group of carrots is called a complaint? <laughs> So good. I wish shout out to whoever wrote that joke. In number five, Leah Michelle. Leah Michelle has been accused by several people for being an absolute nightmare to work with. A Karen, if you will. One of Leah Michelle's biggest accusers was Samantha Ware, who appeared on the show Glee in season six as the character Jane Hayward. The accusation was that Leah had participated in traumatic microaggressions that made her reconsider her career. This came to light when Leah tweeted about Black Lives Matter following the death of George Floyd. Samantha replied to this tweet saying, Remember when you made my first television gig a living hell? Because I'll never forget. Dead. I believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity, you would in my wig, amongst other traumatic microaggressions that made me question a career in Hollywood. Leah Michelle, who played the character Rachel Berry, apologized for her behavior towards Samantha, but due to this tweet, Leah ended up losing her sponsorship with HelloFresh. Every Karen across the world weeped. Not HelloFresh. In there before, Ariana Grande. <laughs> confusing one because at times you feel bad for her but then she'll just turn around and have a diva moment like that and you just go damn that was rude that was that was really caring of you to do she turned to a red carpet assistant and told her to get out of the way because she was ruining the photos she also had a run in with juliana razek and according to juliana while interviewing her ariana poked her in the side and gestured her to switch positions in front of the camera when juliana didn't know what she meant by this ariana leaned in and made it very clear she said i only allow photos to be taken from my left, my good side. Oh, and let's not forget her infamous donut licking scandal, shall we? While at a bakery with some friends, Ariana just licked two of the donuts on display, didn't pay for them, didn't even eat them, just laughed and walked away, and then when her order comes out, she does this. Generous. In 2017, Ellen was oh, beloved by everyone, but some started to view her in a more 